Hey folks, welcome to the fifth episode of the Avalanche Conditions Report brought to you by Whitewater Ski Resort and BackcountrySkiingCanada.com. I'm Dave, uh, part of the snow safety team up here, and uh, it's been a while since we've chatted, so I'll just catch you up really quick on what's happened in the last few weeks. Last time we spoke, we had not the greatest looking snowpack, a lot of facets and crust in there, and it was looking pretty weak. And then on December 20th, through kind of the 23rd, we had a mega storm hit. Uh, we had about 100 centimeters fall in the area. It came in really heavy and it had a, it had a huge effect on our uh, avalanche train around here. Um, avalanches that uh, we haven't seen in a long, long time are uh, running full path. And uh, it was pretty impressive. Um, we had White Queen ran full path. We had the Hummers run full path and taking out some timber, you know, 15 to 20 year old timber. Um, so it was pretty exciting, pretty electric times. And uh, it was a good time to stay out of the backcountry, which most people did stay out of the backcountry, which was a good thing. And we had a bit of a lull after that. Um, you know, things tightened up a bit. And then uh, we had about 15 to 20 centimeters of low density snow come in in that time. And uh, some surface horror in between. And then uh, yesterday we had another storm come through, bringing about 25 centimeters of uh, snow. And uh, we had another uh, natural and skier, skier remote and explosive control avalanches yesterday. Uh, and we're still actively in that avalanche cycle right now. Um, so something to be aware of. Avalanche Canada is calling the hazard high right now due to that storm cycle and we're still seeing you know a reactive storm slab uh, in most features right now um, and so you know kind of on that note I just want to plug to you guys we do have room in our managing avalanche terrain uh, course which is coming up on January 11th we still have spots there it's a one-day course and it's good because when you're in levels of high or considerable or you know the hazards kind of sketchy um, you can't control the hazard you can't control the weather the snowpack but you can always control uh, your terrain choices so a little plug for that there's still spots January 11th going forward here uh, we are actually in an active storm pattern today is a bit of a lull we got you know mix of sun and clouds today and then uh, we're just gonna start getting peppered for about a week here of, uh, you know, tomorrow, it looks like tomorrow night, we're gonna get around, you know, 10. And then Saturday, we're gonna get another 10. And then Monday, maybe another 10. And then it kind of looks like another blip coming Tuesday. So we're gonna be in an active storm cycle, which is gonna continue to elevate our hazard. Um, a good time to really make good decisions when you're in the backcountry um, going forward here. So our snowpack then is kind of looking like we have those early November, you know, facets, crusts, um, where it's set up really bad. And then we have that bunch of snow, which is also sitting on top of what we're calling the December 11th surface horror, which is down, you know, anywhere from 80 to 120 centimeters now. And then we have our big, dense snow. And then we have that, you know, surface horror with some low dense snow and then another surface horror layer and then the snow we got yesterday. So there's lots of potential there for different layers in the snowpack to trigger, you know, looking for step downs and those type of things. So be mindful of that. Um, just want to talk to you. Another thing going on around the resort is we have our junior free ski competition coming up next weekend. So we will be you know roping off some areas and closing some zones down it will be actually sleeper which is right behind me here and blast will be roping off and closing down there will be sporadic closures on sleeper and blast from uh, wednesday to sunday of uh, next week otherwise that's all i have for you guys uh it's good to catch back up uh we'll be coming at you again next week with another episode and uh yeah enjoy the rest of the holidays